Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back to Hearthstone. So, it's not going to take us too much now. We just need to play 39 more spells, which can be done by playing the Mage, I'm sure, and deal 17 more damage to the face. You know, I'm actually getting better at math than I used to do. Used to be, uh... I never really paid attention in a strange way. We'll do this Mage Battlecry deck. I assume that's going to have a decent number of spells in it. I I never really paid any attention to basic mathematics. Or at least I don't remember doing that. So, sure, I, I know 2 plus 2 and 4 plus 4 and all that. But when you talk about any of the multiplication tables above 5, I didn't ever memorize any of that and I'm not sure that that's what they teach anymore anyways uh, so I actively do still need to to do multiplication like 6 times 6 I know it's 36 but 6 times 7 I think is 42 and see I actually had to think about that and so simple things like 17 plus 83 equals 100. I'm actually having to do the math there. Uh, this, of course, comes from a from a somebody who did not do well in school at all and was often kicked out of class. So, so uh, the th there's some deficiency there. And also, like I said, I don't know if that's how they teach it anymore. But I've noticed in playing video games lately. As I am quite quite different mentally, I'm in a different mental space than I was when I was, say, in uh, elementary school or junior high or even high school. Uh, I'm in quite a dental, different mental space, uh, even from when I was in college. Uh, so I, I'm more open or or. Perhaps this is the avenue to help me learn these things. Of course, this is pretty, pretty basic stuff. It's, it's, it's a joke that I don't know these things, but honestly don't. And they don't come up that much in the real world, too. Uh, simple math things, you can, you can take a little bit longer and be a little bit more certain about it. But I, I am glad to see that I'm learning. Al always happy to see that that I might be getting better and not worse seconds. at things. Let's see. I guess I could try to attack this one. But there's kind of no reason. I'm not playing any spell cards here. Uh, let's move on to all these stories though. Like, Destiny's character progression will not carry over to Destiny 2. And Destiny's final DLC is about to come out, so... Uh, Destiny in itself, I don't think it ever came to PC. And so... There's a issue there. Right away, right away. Uh, there's also... Can I light your fire? Uh... There's also an issue around uh, the fact that it, it, it wasn't a great game in all the ways. It, it had a few fans. Mo almost everybody that went to Destiny went to Destiny because the creators of Halo were making it. And Microsoft was, was definitely pushing it from that. So it was Bungie. I, I was making it. I'm not sure if Bungie is even still making it. Uh, so that I never target this minion with spell deal three to the enemy. Right away. It's just right away. Continue time. Uh, so that's the only way it even got a, a, a following. And it's a Destiny is this heavily online community based things with raids and such. 
Okay, we've got another guy spectating me. I think this is the guy that was spectating me for a long time last time. I don't know if he just wants to, it wants to watch me play or what. Uh, I'm pretty sure he can't hear me. If you can hear me jabs or jobs, I can't read your name. Uh, go ahead and type a comment. Let's if if you can actually hear me. That'd be interesting. So, no comment there, so I assume that he can't hear me. Um, I, I was thinking about maybe streaming this to Twitch while recording these. Uh, not streaming everything I do and, and all that, but uh, I recently made a mistake, though, and showed my the a little bit of my credit card information by clicking the wrong button so that's uh, I will bind you. there's there's an element there to of uh, of like I'd have to be very cautious if I was gonna stream but I was looking at Twitch and, and just looking how I do have a Twitch channel, but I've never done anything with it. And, uh, there, and just all the things that could integrate it. If I... You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. If I could... I would, I would like all of my videos as they come out on YouTube to be streamed to Twitch, and uh, because I think honestly that's not gonna lose me any views on. I, I don't think it would lose me any views at all. And if I had a second computer and enough internet, where it could just take the videos and rebroadcast them as they, after they went to uh went to youtube if, if it just rebroadcasted them to twitch i would do that but that's not that's a violation of twitch's service and i'm not sure people would really like it uh, and so that's uh, i guess i actually should try and win here uh whatever uh, I'll win here no matter what happens uh, no don't say that that's not exactly true so so I was thinking about that but I'm probably not gonna do anything like that uh, not until twitch changes its thing there is also the the thing I it, it is a conflict of interest it totally is for twitch to start putting links to the Twitch launcher g games of the games people are playing. But I did make the realization that I guess I just had a blind spot there. I personally am already doing something similar. It's just I'm not profiting from it. I guess that's the, the one thing I can say. In the description of every single game I, I cover, there's there's a link to that game and those aren't affiliate links or anything they're just usually links to the steam web, web page but if i was a bigger influencer maybe at some point somebody would say something along the lines of well you link to our games let's let's give you uh extra code to our next game and things like that. Let's give you early access to our next game. Let's give you special access. Let's let's give you some swag. Let's give you actual money as a kickback. All of those things are potentially already on the table as far as things that could be offered to me. And I just have to remember, if I want to keep my ethics, in which I do, I have to refuse all of, all of them. Or think very far very hard about how long uh, how how much I'm willing to 
to to bend my ethics because I'm very well might take early access. I very well might take. Uh, I could even see myself as my channel's not making enough money to live off of, uh, not anywhere close. I could see myself even taking kickbacks. Uh, or free codes. Even a, and it would be so easy to say, well, I'll take this free code and then give it to, uh, uh, give it away as a, uh, as a contest thing. But that still is, is not ethical. If I get a free code for for a game and give it away to my fans, well, I got something of value from that in multiple ways. Oops. Spells are fun, so fun. So yeah, anything of value I receive from anybody is subject to being unethical. Uh, Don't worry, if I'm not clear game. about it, or if it's in conflict of interest. So I, I need to keep that in mind, and that really doesn't change much uh, on my opinion there. I, I feel like they're getting a 5% cut on sales of games to push people into using the Twitch launcher and, and buy games from Amazon is not, not a great cut in the first place, and this is... This is kind of going to show exactly why the Amazon bought the Twitch, is that they they had some ideas or they figured they could find figure out some ideas as far as uh, m turning people who watch Twitch into people that buy things from Amazon.com, and and that's scary. And I don't want a second library, and I don't think a lot of people are going going to want a second library. Let's see. Gonna cast as many of these spells as possible. Uh, moving on, Bolivia has filed a formal complaint with France over Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, it's Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands, is their full name, for depicting Bolivia as a narco state. Which. Uh, I don't know what what the laws are in France, but I, I don't think uh, do you not have free speech of a fictionalized com country? Maybe they can can in France. Maybe there's some anti hate speech laws in France. I wouldn't be surprised if there is. And so I, I don't know what they think they're gonna do. This game is about to come out in a week, and it's made by Ubisoft, which I. I think Ubisoft is a French company, so I assume that's why that's they filed it in France. Uh, I imagine if I was just a random guess, France has better things to do with their time than than respond. And it's and I imagine also formal complaints are filed with embassies all the time for everything, and it, it's just one company. One country being political and, and ridiculous. I'm sure if North Korea had any formal relations with many companies at all, countries at all, that, that we would be getting a deluge of complaints against North Korea. Uh, complaints from North Korea all the time. Uh, which, I mean, very recently... It seems like, like North Korea's leaders or somebody uh, assassinated uh, Kim Jong Un's brother or half brother, and they immediately None complained uh, to Malaysia and said, "Quit, quit investigating this, this murder." And it's like, okay, well, that's just an admission of guilt, isn't it? Uh, So moving on, apparently the JC from the character JC Denton in Deus Ex 1, I think, actually stands for Jesus Christ, which I, I don't know if this was jokingly said, but uh, I bet it probably is just an in internal joke that they were 
they were doing this whole time uh, doesn't really change anything and it, it also explains Adam Jensen because they're following through this Christian theme where Je Jesus Christ and then Adam although they're I suppose going backwards uh, if you're if if you're gonna have one character named Jesus Christ and then work the way back to Adam then you're, you're gonna have to now pick somebody in between if you ever want a new character I don't know if JC Denton was the main character in Deus Ex. The game is so old, I would love to play it, but also it's just too old for me. It, it doesn't look good, and even the remaster, I think there is a remaster, still looks too old. Uh, we talked about the standard heroic brawl coming back and how I'm probably not going to do it. Man, do dry erase markers not write over each other? I guess they don't. Alright, well, does does that dry them out? Uh, NVIDIA is working on a big, uh, big expansion for DirectX 12 on its next driver, uh, which is certainly cool. Uh, there's nothing really to say there other than... Uh, that the, hopefully their drivers get better. DirectX 12 hopefully turns into something that, that gets used by a lot of games, but very few games have, are using it right now. Probably less than 12 major games are, are by default using DirectX 12. Let's see. Hit this right away and this. Uh, the in uh, let's see, Nintendo confirms that game cartridges taste bad because they have a bittering agent on them. Uh, we already talked about that. Twitter is partnered with ESL and Dream. Dream hack, dream host, dream, I don't know what I wrote there, to live stream, a live stream some of the League of Legends games and other like famous heavily watched things. Now I don't know exactly what they mean by live streaming there because that's I'm gonna move over to the secrets deck. I think the secrets deck actually has more spells than the mage deck. Uh, now that I think about it, so Twitter's trying to get more. I mean, live stream almost has to be video, and if Twitter is gonna go more and more video, like Facebook went more and more video, uh, that's that's gonna be probably bad for YouTube in the long run unless I can just integrate it like right now when I tweet I tweet a link and it embeds videos in it hopefully uh, I'm not even a hundred percent certain that it does uh, I would be a lot happier if every single one of my videos was prominent more prominent amongst my Twitter followers and and all of that but or but I it doesn't help anything really it particularly for my channel most of my Twitter followers are probably bots and just people that followed me back I don't know how many view, I kind of do know how many views I get in and the number is pathetically low it, that's just what it comes down to is that I have a pathetically low number of, of views that come in the first couple of hours in which I'm actually looking at videos. It's usually one or two vi views and almost certainly those two views are me. There is a level that happens later on 
uh, where Job's done. where some of my videos slowly get up to 10 20 views some of my videos slowly of after nearly a year have gotten up to 50 60 views it's hard to to know what will happen in the next year because I, I have more actual viewers uh, that are watching so in theory I should get more views faster and that's what I'm trying to happen but as far as Twitch as far as Facebook as far as Tumblr as far as Google Plus none of those are really bringing in any extra views it's it's just not not from what I can see it seems like almost everything is just randomly searched right now what's airing on my channel is not doing great at all and I guess we should just get into the sadness statement it's like I've just been sad lately really not not, not very happy and it's kind of even a big thing for me to even make that realization uh, and be able to to say it out loud I suppose it's like my the Nvidia GTX 1080 Ti came out which starts down the path of should I get a new video card but really what pushes it is the fact that Lego is lagging like crazy and Resident Evil 6 lagged like crazy. By the way, there's a benchmark for Resident Evil 6 that I'm going to make a video of and put out there because it is so much BS, this benchmark. It says my computer will run RE6 perfectly fine. It ran RE6 like garbage. And it shows scenes with hundreds and hundreds of zombies on screen there is never more than 20 zombies on screen at, at any point in re6 uh, the benchmark tool was like 100 percent just advertising propaganda and uh, all that that being said 3d mark too i i ran recently and it, 3d mark always gives me like way less uh, frames than what I think I should have uh, even on like lower benchmarks and in comparisons the 3d mark is it seems to have a vested interest in saying that my sort of high-end gaming PC is only slightly better than a gaming laptop which no I, I don't agree with that really uh, sure, my the 970 I have is getting a little long in the tooth, and it does need to be replaced uh, in a couple of years at least. But it, I just ran the Talos Principle again and did benchmarks with that. It looked great. Uh, I could certainly run back and do the Talos Principle. I'm not sure I'm going to do the entire game. I think I may just do the Road to Gehenna if I can. Uh, and I, I don't know really uh, as far as save files and all of that. Oh, dear. So, yeah. But yeah, the Tales Principle looks great. I played that on my P my gaming laptop, which is probably like four to six years old now. So uh, I'm not super surprised that that's a little was struggling. But the 970 works fine, it, and it will work fine for at least another year, or at least six months. And then, but I would like to update it to the top of the line, next generation with the 3D RAM to get more throughput. This, 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 this. So, yeah, Lego has been lagging like crazy. I just found something uh, that says if you change the core affinity and mess with that on Lego games, it might fix it or at least severely reduce the lagging. Uh, other, if this works, I'll try it. 
and you have to do it every time you launch the program, but if this works with the rest of LEGO Star Wars uh, 3, then I'll continue to finish out the LEGO series, but otherwise I'm not going to continue the LEGO series, and I I'm getting more and more confident every time I say that, because it it's still kind of iffy that I actually want to commit to saying that, but... Um, so, doing Lego Marvel Avengers, I ran that, it ran laggy. Doing uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, I ran that, and that la laggy. And those are things I really would like to cover, because people are going to type in Marvel Avengers and, and Pirates of the Caribbean pretty commonly, and, and then Lego Worlds and... Uh, and Lego World, I'm not gonna do. Uh, I I can say with with moderate confidence, that's gonna gonna be the case. Uh, and like Lego City Undercover, I probably will eventually get, and Lego The Force Awakens, I'll probably eventually get. I I wouldn't be surprised if I buy The Force Awakens. Uh, pretty soon and so I need to kind of find out if I want to uh, whether I really want to do that or not uh, so yeah I've been looking at at my views at two years in and change. that's making me sad views in general are way up yeah and ad revenue is way up and everything's green and I should be happy about it and I have gone through these conversations in the past and and been very positive but honestly I don't know if I, I'm just having seasonal affected disorder or what uh, but I just don't really full feel it I, I really just don't feel very happy huh interesting the mirror image. Hmm. I'll put two copies into her hand. Because that wasn't mirror image. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. This. I've got a victory now, unless he can do six damage to me, quick. So, it's something I'm going to try to to work on. I need to hurry up here, though. Um, friend codes return to the switch. That was a dumb idea. Uh, friend codes in particular are terrible because they're just numbers. They could put letters in it at the very least to make it better. But similar things like Steam codes. Uh, are still way too long they need we need to just have a new standard keyboard that has some new buttons on it like a square circle triangle uh, we could go up at least the Euclidean uh, shapes at least and like square circle triangle uh, hexagons just keep going up there at least to to a, a decagon, de, uh, uh, a tin-sided item of some sort, and they they could also make them look a little bit different. I could probably just uh, draw tin shapes right there, and if you added tin shapes to every keyboard, then Gina. you've got such a wider base. Begin. that could that would helpfully increase the amount of 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 possible characters thus decreasing the length of possible characters uh, of course so some of these codes also are are not serialized so not every single code is used whereas like YouTube links in the same way it's 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 pretty sensitive already 
and we it's capital letters lowercase levels I think for YouTube links um, numbers so you're, you're talking at least 60 characters and they're still really really long adding another 10 would help but it doesn't doesn't do the greatest of jobs but I'd like to see maybe them adding colors too but if you add colors you affect colorblind people so uh, the English language itself doesn't need more characters but codes would and and more symbols would work too of course it kind of also need would need to be backwards compatible so if you did add this square there, there's got to be some control alt key combination you would have to do to to get it to do that those characters on, on top of it which which probably would limit you to to at most doing 20 extra characters because you could do control out uh, one on the number line and control alt n number one on the number pad uh, but yeah friend codes certainly not the solution to anything and here we go Ubisoft has responded to the doubt over the division's funeral uh, future. <laughs> Freudian slip there to say funeral. Uh, I didn't even bother to read their response though, because frankly, it's Ubisoft and the doubt is very valid. Uh, division did not work well, did not sell well, and it's definitely one of those games that didn't do what they wanted it to do as far as the video game industry that being said they are very heavily invested in that since they have already mm. licensed out the division to have a movie and they uh, uh, have DLC planned still I think for the division there's nothing really wrong with the division. It's kind of just like Destiny, in a lot of ways. It's 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 a game that it has all the game elements and just didn't catch the people's attention, and so they have to do that. I'm doing a bunch of circles on my whiteboard with my marker. If you can hear the tapping here, that's what that is. Oculus cut $100 off the Rift in touch controllers. Uh, some speculation whether that's because Oculus technically lost the lawsuit against Zenimax, or uh, maybe something at least feels that way. Swap, swap it with a minion in your deck. Okay. Simple. Everyone has a problem. So, yeah, moving on. 3D Mark, I, I talked about that. Uh, th 3D Mark was giving me about 25 frames per second uh, on its test for the DirectX 12 and the DirectX 11. A lot of games still at DirectX 9, and there's some limitations there. Oddly, VR Mark giving me well over 105 frames per second, but the it wanted a lot more too uh, so I'm not sure exactly how this all works but but it seems like VR needs an excessively high number of uh, uh, of frames and so uh, if if that is the way it case it and my while I am VR ready with the 970 that there is a much better reason to buy a new video card is to be more VR ready than to get Lego games to potentially run better and if it really if this trick to set the affinity 
of the core affinity meaning just run everything on core zero i have like eight logical cores in my well i have six cores which gives me 12 uh 12 logical uh threads and uh, so it could be that having so many cores is actually what's hurting the lego games is Maybe a two-core setup didn't have as much of a problem there. But if that really fixes it, that, that says that the issue is CPU, not GPU. Not the graphics card at all. So getting a new graphics card wouldn't have fixed it at all. In fact, even getting, if, it, if it's what the issue, if this actually does fix the issue, getting a new CPU actually wouldn't help unless I got a less powerful single core unit which would probably be crazy unless that single core was six gigahertz which i'm not sure we'll ever see i don't think we can i don't i'm not sure technology will ever be able to hit six gigahertz on a single core uh, without putting a bunch of threads in it and cheating uh, the the other thing uh with the oculus is epics vr shooter robo recal uh it's r-e-c-a-l-l -L. i thought it was robo uh re recoil for a while but no it's recal uh where it's a stand in one place and shoot and teleport yourself is free when you buy the touch controllers so uh, in inherently, what this means is that the VR market is just not doing what they would have liked at all, and I'm not really surprised there. Uh, it the VR is just not shaping up to be the thing that a lot of video game people were saying it was going to be. A demo and see we've gone a little bit over here and I'm now out of things to talk about so I'm going to just Let finish this game speak to me. and then in this recording we didn't get two recordings going and I'm not I'm not really surprised because we didn't have the most amount of stuff to happen. Yeah. I'm gonna try these other markers while they're running. Red writes perfectly right now, at least. I'm wondering if it and blue writes perfectly. So I've got two of these. Two. And then why do they put the little air holes at the top of these caps? Apparently they want them to dry out. And see, this is almost certainly the secret uh, that gives her immunity. And so we'll... Oh yeah, I, did I mention Twitter has added egg blocking? I guess that's the thing. Eggs are are just uh, new accounts that haven't put pictures or called accounts or uh, eggs and one of the things in that uh, is the idea that they're gonna block people that incessantly tweet to people that they're that aren't following them so people that are gonna look like they're spamming and the keyword there is incessantly because Technically, my channel kind of incessantly mentions uh, mentions people. I don't tweet directly to them, but I'm not sure Twitter isn't going to see that. So I may very quickly find that Twitter considers my account a, a spam account. And while they're not saying right now that they're going to get rid of my account or anything like that, but... I may find that less and less people actually see my account and that's certainly not going to be good. I'm going to play the rest of these spells off screen and we are done with this recording session. 
a little bit weird one I would say as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening